All right, guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we learned how to add a picture within a picture. In this video, we're finally going to talk about images. How do we source images in? Well, what I do is like what I've been doing is pretty much just pull the images to my desktop and then drag and drop. So what I'm going to do is grab this image. Nope, just this one of Bart Simpson, and I'm going to pull it in here. And the thing about video, if, if a video is 13 seconds, it's 13 seconds. It can't go past that. But if you want to have an image go longer, you just grab one side of it and it pulls it in at three seconds by default. Say I want this to be 10 seconds, something like that. So that's how you make an image last longer. Now, I think by default it's at Ken Burns because you see the image moving up here in the top right. What I want to do is click on the crop tool. Yeah, Ken Burns. What I want to do is you can crop to fill where you can pick kind of which portion of the image you want to use. Or you can click fit, which uses all of it. Well, that looks okay, but I've got all this black background over here. How do you avoid that? Well, you need a four by three with the height image. So to play it safe, I always use a 1280 by 720 image. So what I'm going to do is pull in my set, my 1280 by 720 image. And I'll show you what I'm talking about right now. Just like that. No, not Ken Burns. I want it to fit. So there it is. So if I play the image, let's click play. It just plays it on through and there's no border on the left or right side. Again, this picture, I think it's like 500 by 500 or 400 by 400. You can see it's just one big square. And that's it. Just drag and drop. And if you want to make the picture longer, obviously drag it out to the right. If you want to make it shorter, bring it back to the left. And as within picture in picture, you can do it with images as well. You can just drop this up here. We'll put that on top of that. And we'll click on that image and we'll click um, picture in picture. And there we have it. All right, guys, that's how we successfully import images in iMovie. Good luck with this. And we'll see you in the next video.